Will Ferrell. You're absolutely fucking hilarious, homie. I mean, seriously, you've made me laugh my ass off more times than I care to remember. In fact, if laughter is a medicine, you're like fucking Louis Pasteur, dog. Straight up. Please pay attention, because I need your help, brother. And I know that you can give it. Snoop Dogg. Fact, not fiction. Like your style, man. Like your movies. Like pretty much everything that I've seen about you. And definitely one day I would love to smoke the bomb fucking hash and get ripped with you. And the fact that you and Will are Trojan fans, <laughs> you know what, that makes me like you both even more because that's the only school I ever wanted to play for, homie. Straight up. And fact, if it's not for a worthless fucking assistant coach, I'm making that play at USC, and I'm probably on the cover of Sports Illustrated. Straight up, gentlemen, this is a fact. You're looking at perhaps the fastest white boy to ever play defensive college football, and you never heard of him. You want to know why? Because Lou Holtz is a fucking monster. Okay, straight up. He fires me for making what some stay. I mean, straight up. Well, let's take a look at it, gentlemen. Uh, Holtz, his call. He orders me to stay home and look for a suite. Okay. God, lights, camera, action. Yeah, I'm supposed to stay home, look for a sweep on a goal line. The reason for it, gentlemen, is because Lou Holtz knows that I have jets on my feet. Straight up David Beckham. I had to bend that back. <laughs> you know, like Beckham. Um, and, yeah, as soon as I hit the sidelines, I'm fired. And guess what? That's it. I'm done. I quit football on the spot. And I choose boxing. If it's not for Lou Holtz, I'm playing football. And you know what? Straight up, guys, I stack my four best plays up with the very best of them. And Holtz is a monster. And it's not just me he fucked over, guys. Okay? Snoop Dogg, have you ever heard of a quarterback throwing end zone to end zone? Straight up, Tony Rice, I saw him do it. Yeah, Tony was fucking touched by God. One of the finest quarterback prospects I've ever seen in my life. And, gentlemen, I saw this maniacal fucking monster literally attack Tony twice. Jumped on him. Tackled him to the ground the first time in a fit of manic fucking rage. Screaming and yelling. He, <laughs> he lost it. Yeah, second time. Jumps on Tony, but this time Tony bends over at the waist, and this fucking worthless piece of shit hangs like a koala bear for like, so I think, 10, 12 seconds. Yeah, I mean, we're talking a maniacal monster, okay? Straight up. This guy has ruined more fucking lives than definitely Joe Paterno, okay? I mean, Joe Paterno might have gotten silent, yeah. Not a great thing. Uh, fucked his legacy. He's done. This guy right here, <laughs> I swear to God, I couldn't tell you how many people he's fucked over. Straight up, kept out of the NFL, okay? Playing favorites. Playing his son. Keeping guys that could be all Americans off the field. Throwing games. Starting John Foley at left tackle against Texas A&M when John Foley is a hurt linebacker that could bench, seriously, maybe 220 pounds if he was lucky, all right? And this fucker starts against a first-team All-American. I mean, this guy from Texas A&M was a stud. And you know what? Him throwing, well, Pittsburgh six points, he thought, and then firing me when they don't score. <laughs> and then starting John, you know what? This guy is a criminal. He was shaving points. He was betting, doing something. And you know what? He's a monster. 
In fact, Will Ferrell and Snoop Dogg, Stevia, it's special. It's going to win a Nobel Prize, Will. It kicks the shit out of cocaine. Fact, not fiction. You go down to Trader Joe's, gentlemen, yeah, and buy a bottle of Stevia and then have a Tony Montana party because, yeah, be about 45 minute power surge. Not bad, okay, for something sweet, very cheap that vanishes six breast tumors and 62 pounds off my uncle in four months. Will Ferrell. Seriously, think about it. Stevie is the cure, okay? If it's not for fucking, if it's not for Russ Purnell, assistant USC coach, I'm at USC making this play. Straight up. All that idiot had to do was get me a job. I mean, he said he was. He said that he was going to do it. Every other recruit in the country got a job. And Dan Quinn, who has jet speed, can make ground on Tim Brown in the open field, can catch black guys from behind when they think they're gone for touchdowns. He's sitting home for six fucking weeks. Yeah, I mean, there's something wrong when guys who, when they played football, were rejects, okay? No good. Fail. And then they become coaches, and they're, they're in charge of lives and dreams, okay? And they're fucking them up. They're ruining them. Fact, not fiction. It'd be hard to get Holtz in trouble for not playing Marty the Pacat, even though when Holtz wanted to win the USC game in the Coliseum, he took Lippincott off the bench, inserted him in nose tackle on USC's first and goal, and Lip, Lippincott, man-child, takes over, and they don't score. You never heard of Marty, okay? Tony Rice, finest quarterback prospect, one, I mean, that I'd ever seen easily, okay? Special, destined for greatness in the NFL, no shit. I saw Holtz ruin him. And then, fact not fiction, guys. Holtz firing me for this fucking play and ordering me to stay home. I mean, can you think of any other reason besides, like, point shaving? And fact. Did I ever say this? Will Ferrell and Snoop Dogg. Stevia. It's going to win that kid a Nobel Prize. Stevia kicks the shit out of cocaine, cures cancer, cures fat, Vanishes diabetes. It is the cure. It represents a lean and healthy America. Point is, no one knows who I am. Okay? If Russ Brunell does his job um, on the cover of Sports Illustrated. Okay? Probably nominated for an SB. Probably nominated for a butt kiss. Okay? Good chance I might win it. And you know what? If Lou Holtz isn't a fucking... Son of a bitch, cheating motherfucking monster. You know what? I'm not getting fired for this, Jack Ham. And you might actually fucking mention it. Tell you what, Jack Ham, this is a fact. If you put Stevie into water and blend, water will triple in size. It will cease to exist as water. It looks like a bubbly white soup. Meets all the criteria for a natural gas. Stop blending, stop adding energy. And it will cycle back into water with a huge layer of soap, okay? You can get all the soap out, Jack. It turns what's left over into a liquid that acts like the fountain of youth. It will easily give me the money to legally attack you, all right? Straight up. Buy the property surrounding your house. Fill it with people who cannot fucking stand you. Straight up, okay? Want to know why, Jack? You going silent, linebacker, was, in a way, like rape, okay? Straight up. If I was in your shoes, Jack Ham, I would have said, you know what, sorry. <laughs> if you're going to fire me, fire me. But that play right there, that's about as good as it fucking gets. In fact, Jack Ham, I'm wondering if you knew about Jerry Sandusky and you went silent because fact not fiction if that kid sees Jerry Sandusky fucking with a kid I'm beating him to death homie straight up beating him to death and then you know what 
walking probably on a fucking temporary insanity. Yeah, so what I'm saying, Jad Cam, do something to make up for fucking me up the ass, metaphorically. Straight up, dog. You're no pro. You're an all pro. You don't have the genetics to hang with that shit right there, my nigga. Yeah. Okay. So, like I said, stevia it cures. Oh, and Penn State's an agricultural school. Let's see. Might be a good idea for them to validate what stevia does. Be like a red heron. Okay. Take some of the negative fucking attention away from a tragedy. And redirect it into something that is positive, life-saving, and good. Yeah, sounds like a good one. And Snoop Dogg, Will Ferrell, fact. If I take like three teaspoons of bomb hash oil, uh, yeah, enough to fucking put a human to sleep for like an entire weekend probably. And then counterbalance with stevia, I'm faster than I was back then. And if you got me a tryout with the Trojans, I bet you my speed at 45, the fact that I'm fucking borderline lean and ripped, I bet you it would fucking, <laughs> I'll tell you what, that would wake people the fuck up, gentlemen. Think about it. If that 45-year-old, well, if I, can, if I can smoke that kid right there now, in a 60 to 100 yard dash tell you what um probably covering most everybody on the trojans fairly fucking easily man to man give me a chance gentlemen straight up and this is a fact there's going to be a tremendous amount of money generated from the stevie discovery i love the trojans man straight up Love the Trojans. Always wanted to be one. Never wanted to wear one, Will, Will Ferrell. And, yeah, you helped me get this fucking famous, homie. Oh, without a doubt. Any of the, uh, what, benefits of a discovery of the stevia magnitude, you know, that's something that would be like a feather in USC's cap, wouldn't it? Fact, not fiction. I need you guys' help to rewrite the wrongs of the past and to save millions of lives in the future. Will you help me?